Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the new Evo block item in Coromon. This is currently the rarest item in the entire game, I'm going to show you guys how to get it. First, you have to head to Hayville, and there you'll find a house. It looks like this, just right here. And beside the house, you should find someone getting attacked by a Beezle, right here. You have to fight the Beezle, though. Once you've done that, you can talk to the blacksmith called Perrin. And whilst he's talking to you, he tells you to go to the library, which is very important to do this. So once you're at the library, you'll have to go to the left-hand side and go up the stairs. And here, you'll find someone with a book on their head. This is the person that's going to give you an evil block, and you have to talk to them. Because the evil block is the rarest item in the entire game, it's not that easy to get. But to get the first item, you have to answer a bunch of questions, like how many potential values and stuff. It's kind of easy. And once you've answered all of the questions, you get the bookworm hat, and then you get the lazy gem, which is also really good. The second rarest item in the entire game. After you answer all the questions, he says you'll have another battle, and in that battle you get the evil block. But first I want to show you guys what the lazy gem does. So all it does, it gives a Karmat XP even if they didn't fight, which is very useful. And then the bookworm hat is just a hat. So the next step is to go to Woodlow Forest. Because you have to go to Donor Island, which is not too hard. You have to find a few trainers, and you should get there easily. Like this one- Oh my god! I hate this game. Anyway, once you've done all of that, you should get to Woodlow Harbor. And here you can go to Donor Island. You have to talk to Captain Derek, and he'll bring you there in his boat. To be honest, his boat does look pretty good. First thing you have to do when you get to Donor Island is pretty simple. You have to head to a lab. Buzzlet lab right here. This is a very important step because you have to get the worker helmet. If without this, it's pretty much impossible. You have to enter the cave, Thunderous Cave, but first you have to fight the grunts. But once you've done that, you can finally enter the cave. And after running around a bit, you should find a place that looks like this. In the box, you should find two static spinners. After climbing up the ladder, this is where the worker helmet gets used. As you can see here, it's pretty dark. But without it, you're pretty much blind and you can't see anything because it's like deep in a cave. So I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as possible. If you guys want a full guide, just tell me in the comments. Oh, wait, no, I wanted that box, no! Okay, and after running around a bit, you should find a second ladder. And this is the final part of the cave. And after fighting all the grunts and running through, you should find an area that looks just like this. And once you run through it, this is where Umber knocked his secret base is, and it's pretty bad. But once you enter, you should get a checkpoint, so you can easily go from the entrance of the cave back here. It's pretty useful, but you have to fight a grunt to save someone called Thomas. Yeah, <laughs> boy. But it's not too hard, you just fight him and he has like three Karaman. And then you get to finally save Thomas. You have to fight a fuse box, it doesn't really make that much sense, you have to overcharge it. And then after that, you should get something good. But guys, I think, yeah, it's gonna evolve now, it's level 18. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, come on. I don't know what this is. I've actually never done this before. <gasps> yeah, that's not that good, actually. <sighs> wow, that's great. Well, anyway, the lights start flickering and then Thomas gets out. It's pretty simple. You have to run out, go down the ladder, and then you can run down here. It's not that hard. And when you come back to Buzzlet Lab, this happens. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but you have to do all of this, and then once you're walking out, you should get a phone message, and this is from Marin. So, this is kind of weird, it's, I think it's a glitch. So, when you walk into the library, you're meant to go straight to Marin, but if you go to the person that gives you the evil block, it kind of glitches out, it's kind of weird. So, I'm gonna go here, up the stairs, and he's still bald, he has nothing. But when I go and talk to Marin, and I go back, something will happen now he has a headband on and he's ready for the second fight and it's quite a bit harder <laughs> so then he asks you for a rematch and then he says he's gonna give you the evil block if you win if you want to win easily you just read the books that Marin gave you because it's pretty simple if you do that so if you do read the books you should win it's not that hard and now he's really sad and he takes off his headband but sadly you do not get it and now you get the evil block which is amazing i got the rarest item in the game 
Anyway, now I'm going to show you what the evil block does. It's really cool. Basically, all this does, it stops a Karmon from evolving, so you can learn moves and skills that you wouldn't be able to learn before. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So you just press use, and you can use it on any Karmon infinitely. It's pretty cool. You just see the circle there. You can take it on, you can put it off. I don't know. It's really useful. I'm not really sure of what new moves you can learn, but I'm sure there'll be loads of really good ones. Anyway, that's going to have to be the end of the video for today, so make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys, see ya!